Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. We are still in Canada, Winnipeg, Manitoba to be exact. And my apologies, we're not rolling another spot show. We have to record two episodes of our premiere Canadian, uh, Canadian television show known as Major League Wrestling. So, here we are back in the CKND studios. The venue is booked. Let's take a look and see what's going on behind the scenes, if anything. What's going on, Vivian? Vivian organized a poker tournament. What a good woman. Looks like we've got some protege work going on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our card. Cards, I should say, plural. This is who we're going to see in action. We're going to see Vivian Vachon, the Texas Hangman, Greg Wojciechowski, Tom Zank, Doug Summers, Sergeant Slaughter, uh, Larry Zabisco, and in our main event, Al KC and Ali Khan are going to face the Midnight Rockers. Now the recordings for next week, Nelson Royal will be in action, along with Steve Olsonowski and Johnny Rich, Kevin Kelly, Greg Gagne, the Iron Sheik, Bob Backlund, the Midnight Express will be wrestling, and in our main event, a unique main event, Billy Robinson is going to face Nick Bockwinkle. Now, as you can see, we forgot to plug in some enhancement talents here, so we'll take care of that right now. Mark Young is going to get his ass kicked by Larry Zabisco. And Terry Ellis is going to tag with, I don't always like to do them when they're right next to each other, so Terry Ellis is going to tag with Bobby Walker, and they're going to face the Midnight Express. All right, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. All right, here we go. Blue Angel is going to face Vivian Vashan in the opener. This one, of course, is going to go three minutes. We have our TV setting on hand. There's Blue Angel. And there is Vivian Vachon. Of course, Blue Angel is also Canadian. So she's getting some work here. Ah, Vivian can still work through it. It's just an enhancement match. It's going to get a poor score anyway. So Blue Angel is going to get some work in toward her home country, closer to home for her. Chuck Greenlee and Frank Reese are going to battle the Tangmen. And check it out, everybody. Made the adjustment. You, of course, were correct that it was not in default. So, we got that sorted out now. All right, here is Chuck Greenlee, who I just learned, and it's in version 8. He spent some time wrestling for Pro Wrestling International, where he was actually, at one point, their heavyweight champion. So, Chuck Greenlee, despite his odd look, with that balding thing going on, was actually a pretty good hand in the ring and was taken seriously. All right, here's the Texas Hangman. Let's plug them in. The brain and the hand weren't working at the same time there. Oh, great. Greenlee and Reese don't like each other. So let's put Greenlee in there with Billy Anderson. So Anderson and Reese will face the Texas Hangman. And we're going to have Killer. Get the win here. And next, rolling on down the line, David Price, Wolfman Jr. He is going to get bound up like a pretzel by none other than Greg Wojciechowski. Greg Wojciechowski was a bad dude. I wonder how good he would have been if he would have started earlier in his career. And then we also talked about it. Could you imagine if the Ganyas would have gotten a hold of him? Wow. All right. Rolling on down the line. Russell Taylor is going to face everybody's favorite, Tom Zank. There's like eight wrestlers that want to put Tom Zank over. 
All right, what was Taylor's first name again? Russell, Russell Taylor. I think this is the guy that was our enhancement talent that we forgot. We had signed him as an enhancement talent. There is Tom Zink. Okay. Tom Zink's carrying an injury. Too bad. <laughs> Just an enhancement match. Three minutes. You can handle it, Tom. All right. Todd Becker is going to face Doug Summers, who has been putting on some really good matches. Summers has been impressive. There's Todd Becker. There is Doug Summers, the man who is chasing Greg Gagne around the loop, loop for that world television title. All right, we got a big Sergeant Slaughter promo coming up here. We should be able to make this one five minutes. And Slaughter, of course, is in a feud with the world heavyweight champion Kurt Hennig. So, of course, Larry Nelson is going to host this one. There's Larry. Ah, we put him before Slaughter. We shouldn't have done that. Not that it matters, but to me it does. There's Sergeant Slaughter. There is Larry Nelson. And he's going to be talking about Kurt Hennig. Sergeant Slaughter does not like Kurt Hennig. Ah, he's based on over uh, entertainment, not overtime. <laughs> and... Uh, Kurt Hennig is off screen. That one's ready to roll. Next, Buddha Khan is going to face Sergeant Slaughter, the R&B singer himself. There it is, Big Buddha Khan. Here's Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter, of course, is going to get the win. And I'm predicting it's going to be by that Cobra Clutch. All right, Larry Zabisco is cutting a promo. And, of course, Larry Zabisco is engaged in that heated feud with none other than Jerry Lawler. There's Larry. He's going to talk to Larry Nelson. And there is Jerry Lawler. So Larry Zabisco is going to be based on entertainment. And Lawler is going to be off screen. Okay. All right. Mark Young, who has never won a match with us and never will, <laughs> is going to face Larry Zabisco here. There will be no breakdancing. But there will be pain, to quote Mr. T. Maybe we'll bring Mr. T in one of these days. I'm a big Mr. T fan, for those of you that don't know. I think the A-Team is one of the greatest shows ever made. That's one of those ones they tried to remake that today. They would totally screw it up. The movie was not very good at all. All right, the Midnight Rockers are going to talk their trash here. On the Midnight Express. As that feud continues raging around the country. And it's a good one. There's Shawn Michaels. They're talking to Larry Nelson. And they are talking about Dennis Condry and Randy Rose. All right, entertainment, entertainment, off screen, off screen. Of course, we give them a full six minutes. Their promos tend not to be very good, but we'll see how it goes. All right, the main event here, Sheik, Adnan LKC. And uh, Ali Khan are going to face the Midnight Rockers. 
So you can guarantee that Al KC is going to carry the load here for his team. And this one's going to be for the World Tag title. And I think we can get up to 18 minutes here now. No! <laughs> Shawn Michaels is going to win this one clean. All right, yeah, we got one more minute here. And let's put it towards Larry Zabisco's promo. And we can make the main event an epic. LKC knows what he's doing. Okay, let's go ahead and run this one. And let's see how we do. Vivian Vashan gets the win with that power bomb. No red text the doom for either of these ladies. We got a 42 overall, and I'll take it for an opening ladies match. All right, the Texas Hangman get a win, get the win with the Hangman drop, and of course, Bill Anderson and Chuck Greenley do not get along. Uh, there's some red text the doom. I am not surprised. All right, Greg Wojciechowski submits Wolfman Jr. with that Boston Crab 60 overall. Not bad. Tommy Zank gets the win with the missile dropkick, 54 overall. He's got that injury. And Doug Summers wins with the figure four leg lock, 67 overall. Very respectable. All right, Sergeant Slaughter only scores a 73 in his promo, which, again, is surprising because that man could cut some promos, and we've seen it. And he gets a 64 in his match over Budokan. He does not use the Cobra Clutch, but instead uses the Gut Buster. Ho, 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 this one will do the job. Larry Zabisco lays down a zinger here and scores a 100 on his promo. A 100, everybody. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, only a 67 in his match against Mark Young. He wins with the Larry Land Dreamer. And the Rockers get a 79 for their promo, which is pretty good for them, but not great. And just so those of you know, I changed the product over, so we should only be affected by the highest scoring promo by rights. So that should make a big difference for us here and end our woes with promos. And make me not scared Do you have people do promos. Our main event gets an 80. Not bad, considering Ali Khan had to be carried by everybody else. Very nice score. We should get a gain here across Canada. And we do. An 80 overall. So that, that's the trick. That is the trick indeed. We changed that, and our promos are not hurting us so badly anymore. Very nice. And thanks for the heads up, everybody that recommended that in the comments. I appreciate it. All right, Houdini is going to face Nelson Royal in our opener. And, man, I just I can't get over Houdini's look. He had such a great look. How this guy was not the biggest of superstars is beyond me. All right, Nelson Royal is going to get the win. Chances are good. He's going to submit him with that Nelson finisher. All right, Bill Anderson's getting double duty today, whether he likes it or not. And he's going to have to get along with Jesse Hernandez here. And who are they facing here? They are facing Olsenowski and Rich. All right, everybody. Uh, there was an error in this game. They had the wrong picture for Johnny Rich. They had the picture of Davey Rich and not Johnny Rich. So I got that straightened out, and Johnny Rich actually wasn't even in the game. And um, uh, I, I went ahead and put Davey Rich in there, and I just imported him. And I actually had this all mixed up and wrong. I had Johnny Rich wrestling as Davey Rich. I didn't even know there was a Davey Rich. So Johnny Rich and Davey Rich were also tag team partners in Memphis. So I've got this sorted out now. Uh, you can see there's the correct Johnny Rich picture. And um, it's not going to be updated either in the latest version of 8.0. So, uh, but in 9.0, it will be fixed. I did get it fixed. So, 
We're going to give Johnny Rich the win here as an apology for using his wrong picture for all this time. And uh, there we go. So moving right along, our tag match is complete. So that was an error. I did not have Johnny uh, Davy Rich in the game, and I was using the wrong picture for Johnny Rich. Now that goes all the way back to the original programmer, so I won't take full blame for that one. And Mike Starr here. No, wrong star. All right, Mike Starr is going to face Kevin Kelly here, and this might be Kevin Kelly's first time in Canada in quite a while since he's back from that injury. And Mike Starr is going to lose her. All right, here's Kevin Kelly with the win. Gets to look good on TV and get a win across Canada. All right, Greg Gagne is going to defend the world television title here against Art Washington. So there's Art Washington, and there is Greg Gagne. There's the world television title. And of course, Greg Gagne is going to get the win. And next, we have Steve Butler facing the Iron Sheik. And Stevie Butler is going to find himself in that camel clutch. There is the Iron Sheik with the win. And next, we're going to have Dennis Stamp face Bob Backlund. Another enhancement match here. There's Dennis Stamp. Good wrestler. We've talked about him before. Dennis Stamp was very good in the ring. He just. Lacked everything else. 86, 87, he was doing enhancement work for the AWA. All right, now here's some big action here. The Iron Sheik is going to attack Bob Backlund after the match. This will help their food feud. Not their food, but their feud. And we're going to base both of them on entertainment. This one's going to go six. And hopefully that'll net us a decent rating. And next, we have the Midnight Express cutting a promo. Paulie Dangerously, of course, is at the helm of his team. So there's Dennis Condry. There is Randy Rose. I like making this change because now I'm not so scared to run promos. We can mix things up here. Uh, here's Larry Nelson. And by that I mean I normally wouldn't run a Midnight Express promo because I'd be afraid that's going to hurt the score overall. Now, with the settings the way they are, and I'm very thankful for all of you for recommending it, I'm not so worried about it now. There is Shawn Michaels. That's a lot of names here. Off screen, off screen. And they're on screen, not rated. Paul E. Dangerously is going to be the only one rated on entertainment. Let's see how that does for us for a score. All right, Ellis and Walker are facing the Midnight Express here. And of course, we've got a two versus two enhancement match. There's Bobby Walker. There's Terry Ellis. Do you think Bobby Walker's got a perm? He's got to have a perm, right? That thing just doesn't naturally look like that. There's no way. And here's uh, the Midnight Express. We're going to have Randy Rose go over here for his team. And 
and Nick Bockwinkle. He's going to cut one of his sizzler of a promo here. Who's he in the feud with? Bockwinkle's in a feud with Duncum, yes. Here's Nick Bockwinkle. And, of course, Larry Nelson's going to be the stick man for him. And he's going to be talking about that Bobby Duncan. Entertainment. Off screen. All right, this should be a big match here. Should be a, a really nice match. I don't know if we've had these two work before or not. We may have. But, you know, we're 160-some shows in, so I have a hard time remembering. There's Billy Robinson, and there is Nick Bockwinkle. And, of course, we have to make Nick Bockwinkle look as good as possible. But um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do some television stuff here. We're going to give Billy Robinson an out. And Bockwinkle's going to win by DQ. And he's going to win by DQ because... Bobby Duncan's going to run in and hit Nick Bockwinkle. So there we go. We're all set here, and this will definitely be an epic. These two can work. All right, we're booked. Uh, let's go ahead and run this one. Let's see how we do. All right, Nelson Royal gets the win. Of course, with the Nelson, 48 overall. Again, not a bad score. And there's the new look Johnny Rich, the proper look Johnny Rich, a 50. Overall for these two teams, not bad, not bad at all. Hey, Kevin Kelly gets a nice score here at Winnipeg. He wins with that sleeper. Yeah, Kevin Kelly's got a hot new move, too. That helps. All right, Greg Gagne makes defense number 30, that world television title, 67 overall. Shiki wins with the Camel Clutch, 59, decent enhancement match. Bob Backlund over Dennis Stamp here still manages to score a 70. Now let's see what happens when Shiki attacks him after the match. Only a 71. That's disappointing. I don't know why that match would have gotten that low of a score. But hey, I'm not going to get too upset about it because I changed the product. And we got Nick Bockwinkle on the stick here. All right. And the promo here from the Midnight Express continues to suck. And <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. All right, Midnight Express get a 62 overall here. Randy Rose gets the win for his squad. A lot of green, and green equals money and go. <laughs> there we go. Nick Bockwinkle saves the day here with an 88 overall on the mic. Man, is he great. And our main event scores us an 80. Not bad at all. Billy Robinson had a lower score. His popularity must be lower in Winnipeg. That's probably the problem in Manitoba. So. Uh, not bad. We got exactly what we were looking for here, and we help advance our storyline. We're going to go ahead and finish up, and bam, 79, solid score. That's the trick. Thanks again, everybody, for recommending it. That That's going to that's gonna help us here with our save. So we are staying in Winnipeg here, and we're moving right back over to finish up our last spot show, and that one's going to be here, and uh, we're going to be rolling back down to River Falls, Minnesota and route back to continuing our tour. So look at that. Everybody has a catchphrase now, and Shawn Michaels has one too. I wonder what his catchphrase was. It was probably like, I'm Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Something like that. All right, Zanke's good. Hey, Robinson likes Art Washington, and Kevin Kelly is tired. How the hell is Kevin Kelly tired already? The guy just came back. All right, everybody, we're not even going to waste our time looking at everything else that was going on. That's going to do it for this episode today. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video with your friends. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod. And if you would like 8.0 of the Supermod, go to braddrake.net slash Supermod. And you can follow the instructions there about how to get the mod. Remember, 
you can just drop me a line and I will send you a link. But I ask you to please make a donation. All donations that we receive will get put towards a donation from my company to the Cauliflower Alley Club. And again, that's the Cauliflower Alley Club. I think I mispronounced it. So thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow back home in Minneapolis.